So here is the perennial heavyweight contender, former K-1 World Grand Prix champion Alistair Overeem in D.C. It's sort of hard to tell an effective history of heavyweights in MMA without coming across the name Overeem. Yes, because he's been a champion in every organization he's ever fought. As you said, K-1, Dream Champion, Strike Force Champion, has not held the UFC title but has competed for it before in his career and will be looking to earn another chance at the championship. High-level striker. But the one thing that is overlooked when you think of Alistair Overeem is that great gear he joke that he has that he's finished the number of points. How about the presence of Alistair Overeem ready to make a statement in front of this capacity crowd here tonight? So much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Habib is as undefeated as fighter Habib. But we love getting the opportunity to see Omega Madoff compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face. He wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy's a savage. He's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with Hasbulla in his corner. And if Hasbulla didn't have any value, probably wouldn't be in the corner of Habib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for the former lightweight champ tonight. Habib Nurmagomedov has graced the octagon. He's ready to fight. the tape for this heavyweight fight. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Habib the Eagle, Mimagomeda. Herb Dean, Good our fight. referee for this one. Good. Good. So with a razor-sharp focus, here is Alistair Overeem. Striking accuracy approaching 75%. We'll see if he can get that efficient game going here early tonight. Oh, looks like that shot was blocked. The left hook lands on the counter. All right, too easy to get out of the shoot. The wrestler is able to land his first takedown attempt against the kickboxer. And hate to overstate it, but that moment feels pretty significant. Early. It's a massive moment. He knew that he needed to get this fight to the floor early. He needed to discourage this guy and remind him that, hey, you defended takedowns before, but you have not defended my takedowns. I am at a different level, and when I am wrestling you, you go down. All right, setting up for a submission now. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. 
Great work here from the bottom fighter. Excellent ground and pound here by the ring. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise there. I love it. I love it. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that upper Let's go. Now the transition to the two right in the side control where he will have no shortage of options. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get... Marco Madoff's trying for a submission here. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pulling the triangle now. Oh, he's going to submit it! Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. The ream ground and pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. This is a terrible position. While well, the ground and pound is there once again, strong work here by Overeem. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tired, that fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. Oh, he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by the ream. there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Oh, he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympians kind of like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up once he gets to his legs. He's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. He lands a switch deep. Another takedown land. In the half guard. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, shades of the Godfather with the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Cole is somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. Ooh, arm triangles in tight. It's getting in very tight. All right, working for the submission now. Back and forth we go. Back and forth. These guys are fighting. Oh, wow. Oh, oh he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Overeem's looking to pass out of the half guard here. Maybe looking for side control. He's denied. Oh. Round two is next. Oh, All right, there's the horn. The round is over. He stunned his opponent there. Clearly, big round from Overeem. Archer, there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Round two is here. Khabib Nurmagomedov Ready Ready. versus Alistair Ready. Big hook. Ooh, another shot to the head. Well, he 
you start to really worry about it. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Keep them all here. Over in half guard. Working out of the half guard here. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. For a guy start doing that triangle. Nurmago Menov's back in half guard, very comfortable here. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. Oh! Armbar set up here. Nice setup on that armbar. Oh, it looks like he's got the arm. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He's able to withstand the fire. Now he finds himself out and safe. All right, take your time. Take your time. Relax. Breathe. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded. They're so gifted. It's hard to just lock up the submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he's given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. I, I am. <laughs> All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He is just outclassing this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Well, how about the... Oh, huge Going for the arm here. Oh, he's got that arm in tight, DC. This has got to be the end of the fight. The fight here. No! Submission defense! He gets out! I mean, on this, in that moment, it looked like the fight was over. He was able to clear his head, put the guy into the mount. Not a great position, but much better than getting his arm snapped in half from an arm bar. I need you to scramble! Scramble! He's having his way with him here. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Khabib's going for a choke. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Okay, he's got it. That's it. Oh, great submission defense. Side control now. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Overland. He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. All right, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you change it? He's going to shoot for another takedown, and I would almost be willing to bet he's going to secure it. I'll take your action. Okay. Well, there it is. No surprise here at the broadcast table. Another takedown for him is clean. That is exactly what we thought was going to happen. One guy secured a takedown, the other guy had to fight off his back and look for opportunity. Somehow, his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Nice positional control here. I'll stop this. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off of the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, good block there. Nice. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Man, he's making these leg kicks count. Oh. Round three next. Oh. Okay. You lost that round. It's okay. We're going to come out and win this one. All right? 
If he's got you on the ground, though, and you're in trouble, anytime you're in trouble, you Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Nice punch to the head. Beautiful lead kick is good there. Yes. Keep the pressure. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Oh, he got to the spot. Marco Maddox back in full goal. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, beautiful fight instinct. Marco Maddox going for the sub here. Oh, that Kimura looks tired. Wow, oh, somehow, some way he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. We march on three minutes to go. Well, good dexterity and movement here on the ground to avoid any further damage courtesy of that ground and pound. Nice job off of his back by Overeem. Sit in this position, referee will have no choice but to stop the fight. Let's go. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. A beautiful punch lands there from inside the bar. Overeem's in half guard now. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Numago Metal. Overeem's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Change some things here. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Big double leg, level change. He passed the half guard. Under a minute now to go. Nice transition. Let's see if he can close the show. 
So there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action. And if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown Ready. after takedown. Fourth round now. Fight schedule for five, five, five. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Effective punch from the clinch there by Numago Metal. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, and he's dropping his level to shoot his shot. And ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, no matter how the fight gets to the floor, he just needs to get it there. Well, to the surprise of no one, again goes for the takedown, and it's there. Swing and a miss by Nermago Meno. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how the fight is being played out. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Nermako Medov. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Down to three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, gets the single leg takedown. Pretty good velocity on that one. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, so. he loved it. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the mat. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. He's hurt. He's hurt. Well, he's able to get that shot. Finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow up with him. The kill shot is what they call it. He's going in the fight. Reem gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a surprise. Oh, how about the judo toss there? Judo 101. Look at that, it's tight. No, oh, he's out, the fight's gonna continue. Oh my goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. 
Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. That was a slick transition. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Yermago Madoff going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes, mixing it up pretty well here. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Corner now. Khabib's corner looks a little bit concerned, perhaps because of that cut on the lip that was opened up there in that round. Starting to bleed pretty good. Cutman's got his work to do now. All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times the night would be over, and gladly. Gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man's just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. You ready to fight? You ready? It is the fifth and final round. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Navago Meta. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. That was perfect. I want more of that. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. And he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Oh, huge ground strike there. I can see the cut man's actually getting excited. Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Meta. Oh, and he locks up the triangle. That looks tight, DC. It's very tight. And now he's just got to start passing the arm across, pulling down on the head, feet the hips, and he will definitely get the submission. Fight IQ on full display there. Recognizing he was losing the sub, elected to keep the dominant position. And now he's got the back. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by the ring. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damn Oh, yeah. No pity pack to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over. Jonathan, he just gets up. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets he escaped that submission. And he's back to his feet. Good side for him there. He's got to keep a good softball. He has to actually just try to get him. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. Now leather being thrown on both sides. Well, his opponent tonight has done a good job of getting back to his feet. And just as I say that, Planted on his back again. Another takedown over. Oh, submission attempts in bunches tonight. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von Flute choke looks locked in. Oh, he got out again. He got out again. It's unbelievable. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. 
He's very accurate in the ground and pound and is showing because he's landing so consistent. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strengths. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. Well, on paper, it looked like a grappling advantage for him coming in in largely DC. That's the way it's played out. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going tonight. He's got it all going, J.A. This is a dream for him. The takedown early, the ground control, really starting to wear at the gas tank of his opponent. Overeem's now dealing with a cheat cut. Nermago Medops right back to the full mount. Mm, that was nice. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, so another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight IQ, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw, oh! Oh, he's wobbling now. That leg kick hurt. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Marco Medov's eye is starting to swell shut. And goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, it's getting deep now, DC. Who's got a fight on his hands now? Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. The ladies official and decision is in. It resides rounds, with Bruce Buff. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 48-47, Overeem. Judge two scores it, 49-45, Nurmagomedov. And judge three scores it, 48-46, for the winner by split decision, Khabib the Eagle. All right, so judges' scorecards needed not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes, but he gets it done by decision and keeps that O in the loss column. And if you want to win a decision, you want it to look like...